think I'm going to. Oh, it's on now. Okay, sorry, folks. We got cut off. Uh, I don't know why my internet sucks. So it was a bad connection. So I'm back. Um, half of the video was posted. This is the second half. I'm doing um, avocado toast with salmon and tomato basil salad. I had already started cutting the avocado and mushing it. So um, we're going to turn the camera around again and finish doing what we're doing. Hey, Deborah, thank you for joining in. Okay, so I'm back. So you're going to mush the avocado like I was doing before. And um, I like putting a little bit of lemon in it. I never measure, but when I post the, when I post the uh, video later on on my YouTube, I will po also post the, uh, the recipe and the measurements. Now, some people use salt and pepper. I like using the triple blend dulse flakes. And this is good for people who have autoimmune conditions. Um, if you have a thyroid condition, these are pretty good. Um, they're made from dulse, laver, and sea lettuce. And, you know, just put some of these bad boys in here. And they're really good, actually. And, um... Mixing that up, whooping it up. And this is apple cider vinegar. Vinegar, the way I say it, New York accent. <laughs> apple cider vinegar. I like using the Bragg's um, brand. Why? Because it's. I think it's the best. And I usually take a capful. You're going to shake it up. Put a little bit, of, maybe two capfuls of it. Ready? And I'm gonna add that to my mixture. It actually smells really good. And you keep mushing it, mushing it, mushing it, and mix it all up. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it. Okay. And it's all, see how it is? I taste it. Mmm. Pretty yummy. Okay, so you got that. Now we're going to go over here. I already greased my pan. I used coconut oil. You can use olive oil or coconut oil. And grease my pan up. Now you can make it with eggs or without eggs, the, the avocado toast. I have my toast in there already, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna make the ones with eggs and the salmon for my sister. I'm having the ones without the eggs. And you're gonna put these bad boys to cook, not too high because you don't want them <clears throat> to burn. You want them to be um, a little, um, a little runny, sunny side up. You know, not too. Uh... So, <clears throat> along with this, I'm making a tomato basil salad. I already made my salad, but I want to tell you a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put the salmon, and salmon is high in omega three fatty acids, um, and it's also. Um, I wrote here some notes for combating inflammation because the omega-3s, you know, I always speak about the omega-3 fatty acids and salmon is just really great for that. Um, I love salmon, I eat it all the time. I make it this way, I also buy a salmon filet and I'll make that as well and I'll do a video about that one day for you guys as well when I make my salmon dish with uh, some wild rice or quinoa, that's really good. So basil contains disease-fighting antioxidants and um, here's my lovely, lovely basil. I love it. I already used some for my salad, um, and the rest of this I'm keeping it here because I'm going to make a um, pesto sauce later on, okay? And you can find that pesto sauce actually on my website, you know? And I used some tomatoes. Here are the tomatoes I use. you know. You want really the cherry tomatoes, and the reason why I like using the cherry tomatoes in the tomato basil salad is because they're really juicy, okay? Um, basil contains disease-fighting antioxidants. Oh, let me check my eggs here. Put them up a little bit. Um, 
it also promotes um, cardiovascular health. Um, it fights depression, cancer. I love the smell of basil. It's just, oh my God, it's so great. It, it's an immune booster. It has magnesium, uh, vitamin A, K, and manganese, and C. And tomatoes, of course, filled with lycopene. If you have an autoimmune condition, um, tomatoes are from the family of um, nightshades. And some people with autoimmune conditions cannot have nightshade vegetables, but not all of them will affect you. Know this. Um, some will. Like, I can do tomatoes, but when, um, my, when I was really sick with lupus, um, I couldn't do um, roasted red peppers or eggplants. Now I can eat red peppers, but back in the day when I was really sick, I couldn't eat them. So if you're suffering from an autoimmune condition, look out for the nightshade vegetables. But anyway, like I was saying, the cherry tomatoes, they're really good. They're also high in vitamin E, um, thiamine, folate, um, and like I said, lycopene and vitamin B6. So I'm waiting for my eggs here to... Uh, Be, uh, cooked <clears throat> during that time I'm gonna take out my salmon see the salmon here and you can get this at your um, local supermarket they have organic they have non-organic this one is smoked love it and my tomato basil salad <clears throat> it's already here I made it already but what I did depending on how many people you're you're making it for you got it okay what i did to make this tomato basil salad i took some of my basil i chopped it up i took a handful because it's only um i'm making it for my sister and i, I took a handful of it chopped it up also took the tomatoes chopped it up in little squares as you can see ah the eggs are ready and then i mixed it all together let me put them in a plate for now and I'll get, I'll get back to them later. And I mixed that up, chopped it up, chopped up my tomatoes, as you can see, in little squares, okay? And I added, I mixed them together. I added some, a little bit of olive oil, um, some of my uh, dulse flakes, some pepper, um, olive oil, like I said, a little bit of lemon juice as well. And I'll put this all on my website later on for you guys. And I did a little bit of um, balsamic vinaigrette and a little bit of this. And I mixed it all together. And this is the tomato basil salad. Oh my God. It smells so good. And it's making my mouth water. I can't wait to eat this. Anyway, so we're going back here to the eggs. I'm cutting them in the middle because I'm putting them on my toast. Okay, you wanna do that and be careful when you do it. And here is my toast. I made this already. And you're gonna basically take really good, really good. <laughs> and you're gonna smear it on here. Smear. You're gonna smear it on the bread. You're gonna smear it on the bread like this. Okay. And if you want, like I said, if you suffer from an autoimmune condition, I highly recommend you do gluten free bread. This is more of an oat bread. Mm. Um, do a gluten free bread. If you're suffering from an autoimmune condition and you are gluten free, and if you suffering from an autoimmune condition, I highly recommend oh some um, some of the skin. Um, I highly recommend you do do gluten free. But this is a multi-grain bread right here, okay? So now hmm, we're going to take the salmon. And 
it's kind of falling apart, but that's okay. And we're gonna put it on the bread. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it that way. Take the spatula, you put it on here, right? I have my second one here. And you're gonna season this any way you want. This is for my sister. And I'm giving her some tomato basil salad on the side. And yes, you can have salad for breakfast. It's really good, it's healthy. And this, my God, this smells so good. I just love, 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 love basil. Give her a little bit more. And there you go. If you choose, you can put the the uh, eggs underneath. You could put the the avocado, then the eggs, and then the salmon on top. But I like putting the salmon and topping it off with the eggs. Mine, I'm only making it with the salmon. And I'll do that right now so you folks can see. That's for my sister. My sister. <laughs> my New York accent. Oops, I dropped some. I have a very small kitchen, but that doesn't stop me from cooking. I love to cook. They charge you like what, 10, 12 dollars for this meal, bitch. Not that I'm cheap or anything, but it's kind of ridiculous when you can make it at home yourself. way you would make it without the um the eggs and I'm gonna give myself some tomato basil salad as well give her a little bit more tomato basil salad so she doesn't say that I'm not giving her enough <laughs> so here you go Avocado toast with salmon and tomato basil salad. Basil salad. Avocado toast with salmon and the eggs on top and tomato basil salad. You can make either one of these. They're filled with nutrition. They're super, super, super yummy. High in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and they're just good. I mean, it's just yummy. It's just super, super yummy. I love making this. This is for my sis. This is for me. I'm Yvette LaBoy. I'm from YvetteLaBoy.com. Thank you for joining me in this morning. It's almost afternoon. Um, and I will post the uh, recipe for this below later on because I have to run out. I'm going to eat this and run out. have some things to do, but I will post it later on and on my website as well. You can visit me on my website, which is YvetteLaBoy.com. Also, I wanted to invite you guys this Tuesday, which is February 27th, to my lupus and heart health webinar. I posted it, you could go to my business page which is Yvette LaBoy Coach and there I have a link and it'll, sh it'll tell you to download GoToMeeting. You could download that and that will take you to my webinar and that webinar is going to be this Tuesday, February 27th at 7 p.m. and it's called Lupus in the Heart. I highly recommend you join in because it's, I'm going to be talking about, not only about lupus in the heart, but heart health itself. And if you have lupus, how you can, um, things you can do. Because when I was sick, um, I had an issue with my heart. Lupus attacked my heart. And I'll talk more about that on the webinar. Um, I'll tell you what herbs you can use for heart health, what you can do um, to create a healthier heart, what foods, 
also mindset and the chakras I'm gonna cover so many wonderful things within that hour so come and join me it's free like I said go to my business page Yvette Leboy coach and visit me on my website which is YvetteLeBoy.com you could also find me on Instagram one holistic diva Twitter holistic gal and on YouTube I'm Yvette Leboy thank you for joining me in today I look forward to seeing you on my next live take care have a great Saturday bye